Okay, now what we're doing is we're tuning the dummy trunk. Uh, the arms have to have some play in it. It's basically an even amount in all directions. This needs a little bit more clean. Uh, this is how we get the wiggle in the arm when training to it. This one needs a lot more. Warrior, we do a lot of custom engravings. Uh, we do multiple artwork pieces. We just did a uh, man cave dummy for the man cave show on DIY, which we did a big custom uh, engraved and painted dragon. Uh, this customer is getting one of the most common symbols that we put on the, the trunks, which is basically a Wing Chun character. Uh, we're going to show you how we engrave, and then later on we're going to airbrush this in. Uh, so this customer had chose a Sedona red dummy and a black engraved and painted Wing Chun symbol. Okay, and that's a uh, Wing Chun logo engraved. Uh, you can see it's it's not too deep of an engraving. This is going to smooth out when we finish sand. Okay, our dummy trunks are constructed of a patent pending nine board lamination process. Uh, the purpose of this process is that when the traditional manufacturers use one single piece of log, when they dry that log, they cannot get all the moisture out. The moisture in the core of the dummy in the center is at a higher moisture rate than the outer layers of wood. So what we do in essence with our laminating process is we take that same log that the manufacturers use as is, we saw those logs at the mill into two inch thick boards and everything is dried in the kiln down to 6% moisture. 6% moisture is the same moisture content that furniture makers use to make furniture, cabinets, etc. Uh, the reason why you get cracks if you do not use this method is that the moisture is swollen in the middle of the core and the outer layers closest to the dryness and room temperature are going to continually shrink. So the board in the middle stays swollen, the outer layers shrink, what happens you get cracks and usually your cracks will always start from the tops of your dummy or all of the openings that go through the core. Uh, the reason for that is again you have more exposure to dryness, you have shrinking, and then something has to give, and it's going to give in these weak spots. We warranty our trunks for life against any major cracking or splitting. We will send you a new trunk if that should happen. That's how confident we are in our method. about our arm and leg pegs. Uh, the arm pegs that we make are oversized. We do this for strength. Uh, traditional method, they use inch and a half square pegs. Some even use them as small as inch and a quarter. Our arm pegs are two inches tall by inch and five eighths wide. These are very, very strong. It'll be very hard to break these arms. We do warranty them for four years, full uh, replacement warranty. 
Our leg peg is actually a two and a quarter by two and a quarter inch thick peg. As you can see, this is very strong, and this is all hardwood ash. Hardwood ash is what they use to make baseball bats, axe handles, sledgehammer handles, due to its strength and its flexibility. Uh, here's an example of, this is an inch and a half square peg. So as you can see, you have quite a bit more meat uh, on that peg. Uh, this is going to last you for life. To be honest, in eight years of making these, we haven't had anybody break one of our arm or leg pegs yet. Okay, now the dummy is completely sanded. Uh, we sand it down to 320 grit paper in the shop. The symbol is done. We're now in the spray booth. Uh, what we do is we spray on uh, the color of choice that the uh, customer selected. And this happens to be a Sedona red dummy. Uh, we use a lacquer for the clear finish. Again, all of our materials, our hardwood, our finishes, everything is furniture grade, high quality products we use to make these dummies. Okay, that's the second coat of sanding sealer. We'll now let this dry for about a half an hour, and then we're going to hit it with a 400 grit sandpaper, and we're going to give it another four or five coats of lacquer. Okay, now we're sanding the sanding sealer, 400 grit. Uh, after this, we're going to do multiple coats, between four or five more finishing coats, with light sanding in between. And this is what really brings out a smooth, high gloss finish on our trunk. six coats of uh, high gloss lacquer on the dummy. Uh, all that's left to do next is to paint in the symbol, which is going to be black. Uh, this is a relatively small engraving, so I'm going to paint this one by hand. The larger stuff uh, we usually airbrush. Uh, the Wing Chun engraved logo. Uh, and that's it. After that, we're going to just put our tag on the bottom. And this one is ready to ship out. Okay, we're just finishing up the logo now. This one is almost 